I want to thank all of you for coming here today. It's exciting to see the first level completely filled, and we even have some in the second balcony area. Um, I'm Mayor Hal Patton, Mayor of the City of Edwardsville, and uh, I wanted to recap some of the accomplishments of 2016. Uh, what an incredible year 2016 was. Starting off with a little bit of joke, but even that little Bears team from up north that hadn't won a championship in 108 years seemed to uh, do really well in the World Series this year. But we also had an unprecedented presidential election, and we had a lot of changes and surprises here in our local election. But I'm really here to focus on the accomplishments of the city and what the business community was able to bring to the city of Edwardsville. It was a record year for total investment. We also had a record year for job creation, and we had a record year for investment in our downtown. And I'd like to summarize a little bit of that for you. The city of Edwardsville is trending up, a city of both tradition and progress. From our infrastructure improvements to demolition of vacant, underutilized structures, to the construction of new state-of-the-art buildings, business is being redefined in Edwardsville. Among our more notable projects, we witnessed the construction of two speculative buildings down in Gateway Commerce, one 717,000 square foot facility, and in Lakeview Commerce Center, a 770,000 square foot facility that were subsequently leased to Amazon. The um, two companies relocated their headquarters to Edwardsville in 2016, First to the Finish and Prairie Farms. Both of them built new facilities. First to the Finish completed a 15,000 square foot facility, bringing their accounting, sales, graphic design, and uh, graphic design divisions to operate out of Edwardsville. Prairie Farms is finishing their 38,000 square foot facility on the east side of, two, of 50, I-55, with over 90 jobs being relocated to Edwardsville. The city is also proud of retaining a longtime corporate entity, Madison Mutual, founded in 1920 as the Madison County Mutual Auto Insurance Company. They will keep their headquarters in Edwardsville and will occupy the second and third floors of our newest building near City Park, Park Plaza. JF Electric, another local company, has expanded their campus to include a related company called Donco Electric Construction, LLC. Donco provides services related to utility relocating, utility design, and, uti oh, and utility relocating again, I'm sorry. Um, the city of Edwardsville, I, I don't have to read this, we have also completed a lot of infrastructure projects ourselves. As you know, the new uh, fire station out at SIU, three and a half million dollar investment, makes our campus safer, makes our community safer by getting down to the warehouse district where we have over 5,000 workers on a daily basis. We also completed the Leon Corlew Spray and Play Park, the park that's up on the former Poor Farm, the Madison County Shelter Care property. We had over 500 visitors a day for the first two and a half weeks. So we're very proud of that park. We also are under construction on Buchanan from Market Basket down to St. Boniface Church. That project's about 55% complete and uh, we've had an excellent contractor and as soon as the weather breaks, I'm sure we'll get that finished up. And the exciting one to drive by is seeing the steel being erected on our combined police and fire station, a $13 million building that's also going on the former shelter care site. It will bring a state-of-the-art facility and expansion opportunities to our police and paramedic services. Um, two projects, um, the, excuse me, these projects uh, created thousands of jobs, thousands of construction jobs, and over 1,400 permanent jobs um, have been added with the warehouse district and the other headquarters that I previously mentioned. The value of these new investments for the city of Edwardsville is just under $154 million. To put that in perspective, during the uh, recession uh, in 2009, we saw $24 million uh, worth of investment. And again, this year, it's, it's peaked at about $154 million. So we're very proud of that number, and I want to congratulate my staff and my economic development director, Walt Williams, and all of those from planning and development to Eric Williams, who's working on the construction, and of course, my city administrator, Tim Haar, who coordinates all these activities. Um, the result of this synergy it is an existing business is growing in Edwardsville. 30% of our 893 registered businesses have hired new employees for 2016. Our residents consider Edwardsville to be an excellent investment choice. In 2016, 67 permits were issued for downtown Edwardsville improvements. These permits had a value of just under $4 million. When current businesses and community members continue to invest in our community, it sends a message to other investors that they need to be here as well. These numbers prove that Edwardsville is open for business. 
Our goal under my administration has always been and will always be to encourage bustling economic development activity while maintaining and building upon the character of our neighborhoods and the quality of our family life. Edwardsville is absolutely a place where you can live, learn, work, and play. And it is a great example of government that works. Thank you.